Imagine you can digitalize all your handwritten notes, keeping them safe without having to manually sorting them out. This is the Moleskine Smart Writing Set. By using this smart pen, all your notes written on this Moleskine Smart Notebook will be digitalized and saved to your device. I know, not many people are still using a pen and notebook nowadays, but if you're just like me, who enjoy the process of jotting down notes on paper, you might be interested in this. The set includes a notebook, a pen and accessories like a charging cable and additional ink refill. To get things started, you will need to download the Moleskin Notes app and pair the pen to the phone via Bluetooth. The moment you start writing, the pen will detect pressure and automatically turns on to record whatever you have written on the notebook. Yes, you heard it right. This pen has pressure sensor to detect and record different level of writing force. You can also turn on or off the pen with the power button on the side. All your handwritten notes will be recorded in the pen's onboard memory. The next time you launch the Moleskine Notes app, just remember to turn on the pen and it will upload all the notes to the app. So some of you must be wondering, how does this work? Now, we should take a closer look at the pen and the notebook. Part of the secret is at the front of the pen, whereby an infrared camera is placed underneath the pen tip to record all your pen strokes. That also means you will need to use the pen in a fixed orientation, which is the camera is facing downwards. Besides, the notebook also plays an important role. Pay attention to the fine printing detail on the Moleskine Smart Notebook and you will notice that they have some kind of tiny dot pattern on the paper. For human eyes, this looks like a perfect empty page. But the infrared camera on the pen will detect the pattern and that is how they know which book you are writing and which page you are writing all the notes. That is how they are capable of digitalizing your notes. Of course, the downside is that you will have to use their specific notebooks and the pen. Besides, the pen uses a D1 size refill, which is quite limited in choices. The charging method could have been done better if they use a USB-C port instead of a proprietary pogo connector. I mean, this is quite uh, interesting because it is so easy for you to connect and disconnect. But USB-C means I can use whichever cable I have with me without having to worry about leaving this at home. A single full charge of the pen can last for about 8 hours of continuous writing. So you do have to keep this cable handy if you plan to write a lot. Nonetheless, there are a lot more things you can do in the app. For example, you can see the app synchronizing your writing in real time and you can change the thickness and color for your writings in digital and highlights and drawings. Conveniently, you can also turn on audio recording throughout the note taking session. Perfect for interviews, meetings and classes. Transcription is also available for quick conversion. Since my current notebook is a smart planner, it will also sync your tasks to calendar such as Google Calendar. Just that, depending on your handwriting, uh, they might detect in the different words, but yeah, at least it works. Last but not least, the price. Yes, at over 1000 ringgit, this is quite a steep price to pay for a pen and a notebook. However, if you are just like many others who enjoy writing on notebooks and you are looking for ways to digitalize your writing, this is a perfect setup for you to get started with it because whatever you have written on the notebook, everything is safe to your digital device and back up to cloud. And that way, you don't have to worry about losing your notebook. I mean, if you have very important stuff written in it, losing a notebook can be a devastating 
outcome. So yeah, I think that's all I want to share with you my personal experience using this Moleskin Smart Writing Set. If you guys have any questions, you can leave it down in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.